sewing friends welcome to my sewing room my name is Beth and if you're new welcome today I wanted to talk to you about quiet evening work in the evenings at my sewing room my sewing machine is often quiet uh, I do a lot of the sewing in the morning or during the daytime and in the evening I like to sit and do something quiet and the items I'm going to show you now a couple of them were hand-me-downs. They were unfinished, and I do enjoy finishing little projects that people have started. Sometimes I run into them at the thrift store, and this time it was from a friend of a friend. So the first one that I've been working on, and I've really been enjoying all this color, these flowers were almost complete. I finished the flowers, and the background was going to be all white, I believe, because this was a printed canvas. Rather than do a white in the background, I added some more color with groups of four stitches and also a little blue border. I just had fun doodling. Not sure where I'm gonna go next. I may add some more of those little spots of color. And I'm dreaming about making this into a little zipper bag. You know, you can do different things with needlepoint, pillows, bags, um, hang them on the wall. And this one I may make into a little zipper bag. So I wanted some more color. And I've really been enjoying working on this. I also have this needlepoint. I think I may have shared it before. And I'm still working. I gave myself a little mark up here to remind myself with needlepoint, you know, you've got a canvas and yarn or thread and you just need to do a diagonal stitch. And I gave myself a reminder of which way the diagonal stitch goes because this one is pretty fine thread and I sometimes have a hard time seeing which way the stitch goes. It's really easy to look up here and remind myself which direction to put the stitch. So this is really pretty and someday it's going to be done. And last but not least, I started working on an unfinished project that is called candle wicking. And I think it's just embroidery. They're just four embroidery stitches with this project. And all this needed were these little circles to be completed. The yarn or the string was all there and when I'm done, I can either, you know, give this away, make it into a pillow. Not sure. It, it is a pillow kit. Probably a vintage kit. Here's one of them. So there were two. One was complete and this one was not quite complete. And I'll show you how to do the stitch that's called a satin padded stitch. And I want to encourage you to finish some projects. Do some quiet work in the evening. It's really peaceful work that I enjoy, and I'll show you how to do this stitch. Let's get started. Here is the candle wicking project that I'm working on. I have just a little bit more to do here, just a few more of those circles to fill in. And here, maybe you can see these sort of padded circles that go all the way around. And here is the other project that was in the bag. This one is complete, so it just needs to be turned into a pillow. So when I finish this one, I will complete them and turn them into pillows. First, I'm going to put my project into a hoop here and want to show you the stitch in the directions. You just do a satin stitch going one direction, filling in that circle, and then you go over your first set of stitches to make that sort of padded circle. The thread came with the kit, and I'm going to start right here. And what I did is I started in the middle rather than on the side. I thought that would give me a just a straighter. <laughs> area of stitches 
and I'm trying to go just to the outside of that brown printed circle so that it won't show up when I'm done. And then I'll do the left side here. And after I'm done almost covering that circle up, I'm going to begin in the middle of the circle again, and I'm going to go the opposite direction. of trying to cover that circle up completely, trying to get the brown edges inside my stitches. I think that is going to do it. So I'll put a knot in the back and I will sort of pull my thread under all those stitches to kind of hide it. Looks like I got a little knot in here while I was filming. That's okay. Here we go. Trim that off and then I will do another one. This has been a really nice project to work on. I would have never thought to purchase a candle wicking kit, but I've enjoyed the process and I look forward to finishing this little pillow. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.